Well, hi there. Uh, Ches, that's me. In case you've not met me before, um, I do a lot of these YouTube videos. And thanks for following. This is another one of my quick tips. Uh, just when to know when your readers died. <laughs> um, so I'm here with my Summer Series 2 and my Rosso Studio Jazz mouthpiece and a Leger read, which is the plastic ones. If you've not seen them before, they look a bit odd. Uh, they take a little while to get used to, but I'm actually a really big fan now. And these are kind of my, they've become my go-to reads. Now ask me again in a few months, because I do change my mind. But at the moment, these are my go-to reads. So these are slightly different to know when they're uh, completely kaput. They are, last a lot longer, hence why they're much more expensive. I think they're kind of around 20 pounds, something like that. Uh, whereas your normal generic reads gonna cost you kind of two pounds, three pounds, something like that. If you haven't already watched my video on my top five read brands, I'll uh, link to that. That should be popping above my head now. Uh, and uh, check those out to see if you've got the best brand for you as well. Uh, and also I've done a video on my setup and how I sort of came to use this mouthpiece and this saxophone and things as well. So you might find that interesting and I'll link to that. So a Leger, I mean, I've only really been through kind of two of these. They do last like a good sort of few months as opposed to a month, I find a normal read lasts, but this is different, depends on the person, doesn't it? So I'm playing every single day and generally, I guess on average, for three or four hours a day, something like that. So I'm gonna get through them quickly. Um, but my Leger ones seem to last a few months and I gave up on mine because it had a few kind of splits and chips at the top and it was starting to uh, kind of squeak on me. That was my first sign. Um, but yeah, as a rule, they, they last freaking ages and I'm really clumsy and cack handed. I'm, I'm one of these people that rushes everywhere. So I don't take amazing care of them. I'm sure you can make it last longer if you took good care of it. Now back to the kind of normal cane reads. Um, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find one that hasn't got lipstick all over it. Cause then you can't really see what's going on, but they tend to start getting a little bit grayish. They might have some bacteria in the back and start molding. That's a good sign. Uh, the top might turn into a little bit of corrugated iron. You can see it kind of going whoop, 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 whoop. That's a sign that it's had its day. Um, if it gets waterlogged really quickly, you can keep it going a bit longer. If you are, um, again, uh, there's another video I could cross reference here. Um, if you watch my, read, my video on read maintenance and how to make them last a bit longer, I've given some chat on that because they are expensive. It adds up. If you're getting through one every kind of few weeks, then that does add up over the year. Um, tax deductible <laughs> um but yeah so so do check out that video as well and see how you can make them last a bit longer but once they start getting waterlogged all the time that's probably a sign that it's a bit game over as well and of course as soon as it's got any splits or chips in and cheekily you can get away with it depends on the on the chip um like a tiny split it sometimes it will still keep ringing and keep working for you and i've done that before because i get overly attached to reads if i find one that works really well I just can't give it up. Um, so I'll keep pushing it for a bit longer and a bit longer. But uh, yeah, those are your telltale signs. Any kind of squeak squawks or water leakage are your first signs that you should probably give it up. If you're seeing any sign of kind of bacteria or mold, like a grayingness, or definitely if there's any kind of green on it, get rid of that because that is your ticket to uh, the flu right there. So get, get rid of it, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's just a bit of wood, get another one. Hope that was helpful. Um, just a little quick tip, more videos coming your way soon. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. It means the world to me. I love this community that we've made here. You must comment, keep in touch with me. I love hearing from you. Um, and I always try and get back to everyone. So um, do keep in touch and write something in my comments box below. See you in the next video, everyone. Peace and love. Bye. So I am serious about this subscribing thing. Hit the button. Do it. Do it. Do it. Or I'll drop you back. I will. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll...